a little bit further out. All right, so we need to bring a bed with us. Put that away, I'm not gonna eat that. Eat my billions of apples that I have. Uh, I have birch wood in there, I didn't even know that. One piece of wool. Got tons of string though, that's good. Is it that way? Sure is. Bedtime, all right. So, we have a bed. Uh, I'm gonna bring some cobblestone to make like a uh, house or something out there. Um, a diamond ax should last me. I don't see it me needing more than just that. And I'm gonna go to bed. So I um, can take off during the day, you know? Boop, boop. All right. Do do. All right, let's go. Let's go on back to the uh, the forest, the island forest. There's a lion right there. Woo, turbo mode. No, I'm just kidding, there's no turbo mode for this. I wish. It'd be nice to go a little bit faster, like get some jets or something in us. Little jet engines. Actually, the more I think about it, the more awesome that would be. Boom, 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 no, no. <clears throat> Stretching. Yeah, more oil in the ocean. There's a lot of oil everywhere. It's not as scarce as I thought it was. But I guess once you get something like this where you can just cruise around super easy, it's pretty easy to find the oil and stuff, you know? Uh, it is very hard to get used to the techno pack. I've only touched the surface of it and um, Because I don't do like I think it would be easier for people who do mod reviews and stuff because they They deal with the mods all the time and they they go one by one, you know But me it's more like if I have all these mods I have like um, More ability to Or more things to do I guess like I can never get bored like once I learn a mod I'm like, all right, sweet. Now let's check out the next one, you know? Unless I'm busy doing stuff like this where I'm destroying a whole island of trees or anything, you know? And this is uh, 1.0. This is uh, very late to, uh, I don't know where I'm going with that sentence. I, I just, you can't, I can't upgrade it because I got Tale of Kingdoms. So I can't go to 1.1 and I don't think 1.2 is ready yet for it, so... No, this is 1.0, Leanne. This is 1.0, not 1.1. I don't know if there's a way of checking the version while I'm going, but I, I assure you that it is 1.0. Alright, we're back here. It looks like we haven't really made a dent in it, but then again... Um, I can't destroy those big trees, so... I still want to land this on the tree, though. I don't feel safe leaving it on the ground. Tale of Kingdoms finally did update to 1.1. Well, um, I won't have to check it out then. It's uh, Another thing is that apparently upgrading it can be kind of confusing. I think you're only supposed to take a few things with you between, you know, upgrading from one one map to the next. And I might as well just use up that iron pickaxe while I'm there and uh, let's I didn't want to put that away let's make a quick little house just so I have a place to sleep All right 
by quick little house I mean semi semi big Just making sure it was the right height. And there we go. Quick little cobblestone house. Doesn't need to be anything fancy. Just needs to be lit up. Put that bed right in there in the center. Let's give it a nice wood floor too. Let's not live like savages here. House may be made out of stone, but that doesn't mean that we don't need a floor that isn't grass. All right, so uh, I don't have any glass with me, so this is just going to be a windowless room. House thing. But we do need a door. Like I said, we are not savages. So there we go. Put that all back in here. Oh, I have knockback on that sword. I didn't even know it was enchanted. I was just kind of attacking. Alright, let's go back out. It's about noon. We got some daylight. You know what? In fact, I'm going to check my hard drive, actually. See how much space I have left, because we've been recording for a while. we got some time left. Got a few uh, hundred gigs left. About 290. It's about where I like to be when I first start recording, so should be alright for a while. But then again, like I said, we're going to be streaming some more of the craft tonight. And I don't know when that's going to start, and I don't want to go from that, or from this, straight to that. I want a little break in between so I can, you know, rest, rest my throat. Because constantly talking is very tiring. You wouldn't think so, but when it's a one-sided conversation, it's like, ugh. I don't know. It's hard to to explain. Other commentators will know what I'm talking about. <laughs> also, uh, amongst the the camera uh, news front, I did meet up with my buddy Robert. We decided on a name of what we're going to be calling ourselves. And uh, we're trying to get a few ideas out of what things to go shoot. Some It's going to be starting off real simple. Uh, stuff that's easy to edit. Um, you know, easy dialogue, crap like that. Or, you know, no dialogue in some cases. Because we're trying to get better at compositing and doing visual effects. Or is it special effects? I think special effects is stuff that happens pre-production, not post-production. I think that's stuff that they do like camera tricks and stuff you know and uh stuff like that so once uh it's gonna be kind of slow because he's crazy busy i'm crazy busy and uh we need to come up with a schedule of when we can do things i'm not sure if it would be like a week by week thing but uh, i will be doing uh so i'll have that channel with him and then i'll have another one where It'll be sort of like behind the scenes, kind of showing you how I'm, how I'm going about doing all this stuff. Because I know a lot of you want to learn, and I want to learn too. So I, I'm going to be making a ton of mistakes, and I would rather learn with you guys than try to pretend. It's like, oh no, this is, uh, this is how you do it. This is the only way how to do it. Because I don't have any um, official schooling on being a filmmaker or 
or anything like that. So I'll be learning everything online and from you guys and practicing and trial and error and crap. So hopefully you guys will be um, uh, willing to come along. But this won't be on my main channel. It'll be a new channel and I'll, for I'll let you guys know what that is once it gets made. But until then, just uh, you know, hang back. I have the camera. I also have a very nice lens, a nice 50 millimeter, a 1.450 millimeter, to go along with it. And I'm very excited to try to go out and do some stuff. And um, yeah, the chip-in thing—it's actually a different chip-in. It's to—it's um, basically just a separate chip-in that's basically only for uh, camera lenses, mainly because. Um, lenses are very expensive. Like, there's there's the low range ones, which are about a hundred bucks each, which aren't too bad, you know, a hundred bucks, no big deal. But the quality and build quality of them are, it's basically all plastic. It's all crap, and um, there's no way that you know I'm capable of using an L lens to its full. Capability, so I'm not trying to shoot for L lenses because those are also like a thousand dollars each. I'm shooting for mid range. They're about four hundred dollar each lenses, and um, you know, four hundred dollars for just one one piece of equipment. You know, like a fifty millimeter. My fifty millimeter was like three hundred and seventy, and um, it's a prime lens, so it doesn't doesn't zoom at all it's stuck at 50 millimeter all I got to work with is the focus and uh, let's fuck these guys up and so um, I would I want to get like a telephoto lens you know a zoom lens or a wide angle actually I'll probably get a wide angle first because I can get more use out of that Come back here. I thought there was another scorpion over here. Guess not. Do 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 do. I'm not on 1.2. I'm on 1.0. Why does everybody keep asking that? I'm sorry to let you down. But I'm only on 1.0. Not by choice, though. I should preference that. Not by choice. Man, I am just getting overrun right now. I hear... I hear the rats. But I think they're underneath me. Let's pick up these apples. Nom 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 nom. nom. Go through here, miss some wood, let's go back to chopping down trees, lumberjack style. <gasps> shit, shit, stay away from me. I heard him too, he came from nowhere. Oh, that would have been just awful. Goodbye, Wilson. Oh yeah, Leanne's 22nd birthday is on the 50th anniversary of Doctor Who. That's pretty neat. My birthday is next Saturday, I think. Yeah, next Saturday. I'll be 24. Blech, halfway, almost halfway through my 20s. But whatever. I'm having fun. You guys are having fun. We're all having fun. Who gives a fuck? Come on, spider. Come on, bro. Oh, wow. You, like, zoomed toward me. Thank you for all the early birthday wishes. 
I don't even know if this episode will actually be out before my birthday or not. Probably not. On YouTube, I mean. But, uh, thank you. For those of you who are watching on YouTube, this was filmed on the 5th. My birthday is on the 10th. And Puddle's birthday is actually on the 8th. So make sure to go wish him a happy birthday as well. March has all the cool birthdays. And Jose's birthday is on the 27th, I believe. So that's pretty neat. Little factoid, I guess. I don't know why I'm blanking on all these stupid words. But you guys know me. I stumble over the stupidest words. And I mispronounce everything. Ugh, I'm so tired of chopping down trees. <laughs> Wish I could get one of these these NPCs to do it for me, but they're just they're so stupid. Hello, zombie. How are you? Puddles will also be 24. All of Team Mongoose is relatively the same age. There's very few of us that are different ages. Like Brenny's 19. Uh, Adam is 16 or 17. I can't remember if he turned 16 or he turned 17. But uh, that was back in February. I like chopping down trees with my sword. Pretty sweet. Complete waste of durability. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's a creeper! Fucking piece of shit. I heard him. Turned around. He was gone. It's because I went over to look at the chat to see what you guys were talking about. And yes, I say back in February like it was months ago. Because it was. It was last month. I don't care if we're only five days into this month. Lemon tree. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. I wonder what you use this, if you can use this material for anything. I don't even know the right way to say it. Basalt, I guess. I don't even know. Could be basalt. Something stupid like that. Do, 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 do. How many of you actually celebrate your birthday? Like, actually go out and do like crazy stuff, like you plan stuff and go out and do whatever with your friends or whatever, because I don't. I don't know. I just feel like if I wanted to go out and do stuff, I'd just kind of go and do it anyways. So why does why is my birthday any different? I even threw around the fact of maybe live streaming on my birthday, but I figured I was more of a thing that people would get angry at me. Like, why aren't you out enjoying your birthday? It's like, well, I, I am enjoying my birthday. You know, hanging out with my fans. Also, anybody who's in Northern California, there's another... Uh, sorry, I'm stretching here. There's another land fest coming up. Sacramento Intel Land Fest, which is... Um, giant LAN party uh, where people bring like their computers or gaming consoles and stuff like that and it's just like a three day gaming party basically up in Sacramento uh, I am already going to be going I suggest you guys should go too 
It's a lot of fun. Um, I met actually my first fan up there last year, um, which was Epsilation, I believe. It was either him or someone else that started with an E. Um, there's, there's him and there's someone else that I always get confused. And I shouldn't, but, you know, it's just a matter of, like, when I figured out both of their names. I sort of just associated them together, you know? But, uh, I'm pretty sure it was Eps. Eps. Mm hmm, mm hmm. Yeah, I got bad memory. What of it? Shit happens. Uh, torches. Did I have sticks? Man, this is going to be like four episodes, I think, of me just chopping down this forest. Maybe we should uh, do something interesting. We'll set one of these trees on fire. I got flint up here. And uh, we'll just hope that it doesn't backfire in our face. If it does, oh well. It'll be cool. Mess that one up. <laughs> yeah, I'm probably going to win another computer skateboard. That's true. Um, the prizes were kind of lame for the video aspect, but I'm coming prepared this time. I got a fancy camera. I'll have a little bit more experience under my belt for editing and crap. Definitely prepared this time around. I guess you can't set these rubber trees on fire. Or it's just kind of difficult to do so. I mean, it is a rubber tree. This is a little lackluster. Look at that. It just burned out. Can burn these ones though. Wait. I want this one. That one I want. You can't burn it, then blow it up. <laughs> That's true. Um, Lord of the Craft will be happening tonight. I'm actually... Uh, I, I gotta be honest with you guys, I'm not too excited about it. Um, it's just not really a server that I feel like I'm gonna have fun with. What's up, buddy? Do you want an apple? I think you lay like wheat, huh? Oh, what? Um, shit. Putting me on the spot here. I'm gonna call him... Uh... I don't, I don't know what to call him. I'm going to call him Gobbles. Alright, Gobbles. I need to make a saddle for you, though, I think. Um, I don't know. You can have that apple. I'm going to be setting this place on fire, so you should probably... I don't know. Go do something else, you know? Don't Don't hang out here. Oh, those trees are catching on fire pretty, pretty good. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And this place is looking pretty open now. Now that all the trees are gone. I didn't even notice that there was like a little cave thing down here. I mean, I did when the rats were chasing me earlier. Like right here. But uh, there's a whole bunch. A whole bunch of stuff down here. Oh, quick little shout out to John. Thank you for donating a dollar six. That was pretty awesome. And uh, there's this Tim Spence for donating 321. It's awesome. Quick little start to uh, getting some new lenses. Granted, I'm still pretty far behind getting some, but it's a good start. Good start. Mm 
I like all these animal sounds and stuff. It really makes me feel like I'm in the forest, you know? Oh man, those things are burning up pretty good. <laughs> there we go. Got a bunch of bunnies around here. Sure, they probably wouldn't like it if I set the wild grass on fire. Better get these trees before they get over here. Boop. It'll make it a little bit more interesting if I'm running away from fire, you know? Be like a really bad movie. You have to get out of here! This whole place is going up! Yes, sir. <laughs> this place is getting infinitely more interesting the more it goes up. There we go. Whoa. Man, these rubber trees burn awesome. The regular trees just kind of, just one at a time, but these ones, they, the whole thing catches up on fire. Ugh. Okay. Gotta go chop down more trees. <laughs> 